Now you're saying 19th century football. Yeah. Right. Who are you talking about there? Are you, who am I talking about? <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about the likes of... Actually, you know what? I don't want to be disrespectful to other teams. I was going to name teams, but I'm not even going to do that. I'm talking about Jose Mourinho. That's what I'm talking about, 19th century football. The thing that annoys me about Jose Mourinho, I'm going to teach you a lesson today, Jose, is that you've been uh, going on about different managers and different teams, and I think what you're failing to realise, what the media will never, ever tell the world, because there's a love-in between Mourinho and the media. He sells papers, they're going to keep him sweet. But you were blabbering on about um, Wenger, likes to complain, and you're going draw nil nil at home to West Ham then you go and blabber on about Pellegrini about who spent more or whatever and then you go and draw one all away at West Brom then again you come back you haven't learned your lesson you know even a hamster would have realized by now after getting electrocuted twice but not Mourinho he goes and he goes and blabbers on about Wenger again and in the run up to a game against the, probably the best team in the league Man City let's face it away from home still don't learn your lesson you go and get beat 2-0 Mourinho shut up you're not the special one you're the distracted one even she knows Oh, now listen. Me. Oh, me. Oh, me. All right. Anyway, <laughs> and there's one thing that you know—it's all good. All these mind games, all that sort of stuff. That's absolutely me. fine. But you have to keep a little bit of class and respect about you. And what Mourinho said about Wenger, the specialist and failure stuff. When I saw that. It really irked me, and I, and I kind of stopped and I thought to myself, well, why has this annoyed me? You know, Wenger's a big boy, he can take care of himself. And what I realised, why it annoyed me, was the sheer stupidity of the statement. Not that he said something about Wenger, Wenger can't ter- take care of himself. He's on 7 million a year. You know, I'd take that for 7 million a year. But listen, the reason it annoyed me is because as a football fan, as a sensible, educated football fan, you need to know your history, you need to know your facts. And before you start making statements about people, you need to know who else you're tiring with that brush. Now, if you look at what Wenger said about Arsene Wenger, specialist and failure because he's gone eight years without a tro- trophy. Now, Mourinho, I hope you watch this. Tell me who David Calderwood is and tell me who Billy Burrell is. They are Chelsea managers that have gone 26 years... David Calderwood and 13 years Billy Burrell not winning a single major honour for Chelsea. Now tell me, before you start slating other managers of other clubs, look at your goddamn history. David Calderwood put 26 years of his life in, that's almost 25% of your entire club's history, so people like Mourinho can come and manage and people like Chelsea can compete at the highest level today. Now, before you start stating Wenger, look at your facts, look at your history, and realise that if you're calling Wenger a specialist and failure for not winning a trophy after eight years, what the hell is David, Cal- David Calderwood? What the hell is Billy Burrell? Calderwood is the godfather of failure, in that case, <laughs> and Burrell is the, I don't know, the godmother of failure. Let's face it. But you know what? These are my words, because I wouldn't disrespect managers like that. What certain managers do is they create a legacy, and that's what David Calderwood would have done with 26 years in charge of Chelsea. He's created a legacy. And without him, without the work that he's put in, Chelsea wouldn't exist in the form that they are today. And that's what Arsene Wenger has done for Arsenal. That's something you will never understand, Jose Mourinho, because you live for the here and now. You think it's about you. Arsene Wenger is merely passing through. That's it. If you look at Arsenal's Twitter page, for example, it's not a big picture of Wenger passed over it. Look at Chelsea's Mourinho's there with the players. It's not about Wenger at Arsenal. It's about what happens on the pitch. Wenger's creating a legacy for my children and my children's children to support Arsenal to see them win trophies. Not just look at me, I'm Jason Mourinho. You know, you have to look at what Jason Mourinho stands for as a person. He's the sort of person that crawls up behind people and pokes them in the eye. He's an absolute coward. And this statement is cowardly. Another thing I want to point out, if Wenger hasn't won a trophy in eight years, and you're calling him a specialist and failure, the one constant, I mean, I could talk about money, but I'm not going to, because that's too easy. I'll wipe the floor with you if I talk about money. But if you want to look at the one constant that exists between Chelsea Football Club and Arsene Wenger, is that throughout their whole history, throughout Wenger's history here, throughout Chelsea's entire history, the one constant is they've been trying to win trophies. Before Roman Abramovich came on the scene, Chelsea had won nine major honours in 98 years. Arsene Wenger's won seven in 17. Have a bit of respect. If anyone's a specialist in failure, it's Chelsea Football Club. If you look at the ratio of trophies gained by Arsene Wenger in his 17 years, it's far greater than Chelsea. We've still won more major honours than you in our history than you have in your history. So you can cut the debate however you want to suit your argument and your agenda. Chelsea is, is a stronger specialist in failure than Arsene Wenger is. But don't get me wrong, I don't actually believe for a second Mourinho's dumb enough to think that Wenger is a specialist in failure. He's talking crap so he can get back on the papers and show his wife. You know, that's what he likes to do. But Mourinho, if you think Wenger is a specialist in failure, think 
I know you're a champion of stupidity. Hashtag champion of stupidity, Jose Mourinho. You're an absolute idiot. You need a bit of class. You need a bit of respect. I expect you to report to school Monday morning. I'll teach you a few lessons about what it is to be a football fan and what it is to show a bit of respect for a man like Wenger with a legacy that you'll never know and never understand. And it's over.